Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. I'm excited to have our first guest here. He's an iconic figure in the world of music all over the place, but especially in New York. Uh, he plays a bunch of instruments, but I recognize him, I'm sure you will, uh, as a saxophone player for Billy Joel. And um, just a good man, and, uh, you know, him and Billy are going to be uh, the first ever resident band at Madison Square Garden. They just sold out 12 months in a row <laughs> wow. at the Garden. Who can do that? Maybe there's three people. You guys, maybe Bruce and the Stones. I don't know who else could do that. The Who, maybe. Mark Rivera. What's up, Mark? It's your world, Odie. Thanks for having me, John. Thanks for having me. It's great yeah. to be here. No, man. it's really great to meet you, man, because I identify, you know, I've been watching you forever. So when you heard Billy was going to do that, uh, you know, as a musician, uh, it's a gig, right? It's, it's, it's awesome. It's like it's like you don't have to pack a bag. So you basically just, yeah. what we're saying is for you guys who don't know, Billy Joel said for one once a month I'm going to play the garden. Like almost like a resonant house band for the garden, yeah. and uh, <laughs> sold out immediately. Like seven or eight shows added more. Now twelve are gone. Yeah. And uh, so when you found out about that, what was your first reaction? You were like, uh, "It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> good news." It's good news. Yeah, yeah. I won't be looking for any work. So it's, right. uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. Uh, he's got a, uh, a franchise. This is a Billy Joel store. Right, you're garden. right. So you go to you go to a Ranger game, <laughs> not, well, or a Knicks game, which we won't talk oh about. Oh my God! But, yeah. uh, but we go. You're right. Billy Joel's the only winner there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, right. he's the only guy who's going to bring anything to New York. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, no, it's great. To, it's great to see you guys do that. I mean, I was you know kidding around before, but I'm trying to think. You guys, Springsteen, the Stones, and maybe the Who, uh, could could the only bands on the planet who could do that. I think you're right. Arthur. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, so now you're doing other gigs on the road besides this at that time? We have, well, Billy does about maybe four shows a month. We go out, we're going to Toronto, we're going to um, Nashville. Right. We're playing a lot. We're actually playing uh, over the summer, we'll be playing Fenway Park. Oh, we're that's playing, great. Uh, Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field, the coolest that's thing. That's going to be so much fun. Playing at Wrigley Field, it's like, it's like hallowed ground. It you know, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can only get so close to the ivory and all the security guards get their Uzis out. It's, 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 it's <laughs> well, crazy. that and Fenway. Those two you know, are the those, last those, two bastions. Well, the, 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 the last two real baseball fields. As I, I'm, look, I'm, I'm yeah. old. I remember going to the Yankee Stadium and, and digging the real, the, what right. it was. And, you right. know, that, uh, Nothing against corporate boxes, but it's not the same as being like it. I mean, I, It's not. It's no. not. You're right, man. We were at Fenway when the Mets... Beat the Red Sox. Right. We, oh, we, we wow. Only, we got out of there with all eyes. Billy was playing yeah. a gig there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you guys had the, the last play at Shea. You were involved with yeah. that, the documentary. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about um, the, the documentary on Showtime now, about your Russian trip. Uh, God, you know, obviously that was the summer of 87. I was mm. 19 years old. I remember that whole thing and, and how it went down. I can remember that footage of Billy going nuts because of the crowd, the lights on the crowd and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's something you don't see from Billy Joel. It was crazy. What? But, I, you know... I, that's something you didn't see. But well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, describe that experience. I mean, I didn't realize how much controversy and edgy stuff was involved with that. Well, the, the, the bottom line was that he wanted the people to enjoy the show. Right. And as soon as the house lights went on, I mean, our lighting director, Steve Cohen, he wanted to make let everybody get into it but as soon as they lit the house the people freaked right and they they became like oh we're being watched they're afraid of getting arrested they were, almost absolutely. like it's a different no, not culture almost, like not almost yeah. they were afraid of getting thrown Isn't in jail crazy? Having a good time. yeah well, so the, billy said don't billy on the mic out. he's billy playing said, a song turn off the yeah, yeah. Those, light, those lights yeah. <laughs> and wow he, and that, that's what happened he was really just upset by the fact that the people couldn't enjoy what he what he said or felt right. was his show. His show was people getting. I mean, we have w w Billy's great. He he buys the front rows, and we have people <laughs> up in the rafters come down. That's like an a, awesome move. He's, yeah. he's awesome because yeah. the people who bought those tickets want to be there, and he makes them have the great seats. Absolutely. And he threw over the piano. Well, that was used like you guys are, you, but you had his back. You're back to him right now. When you, you hear the piano go, like how do you he's react? Like, Hello. To that? <laughs> how do you react? You go. Okay, boss. <laughs> <laughs> How tense was it being in Russia all that time? We're it talking about crazy. 87, guys. It was a different time, you know. Well, we were the first band to go with a full production. We yeah. went full production, lights, the whole thing. They had never seen a rock show like this. Like 20 uh, 18-wheelers moving oh, in with was, all the it equipment. Was, it was the whole full regalia. It was, right. it was crazy. We went in there, and, um, you know, the people were, were freaking out. They yeah. had no idea what they were getting into. And, and like I said, the first couple of rows... We're like all the uh, the mucky mucks, the 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 the, um, the big shots the, who well, got the, tickets. Yeah, well, yeah. It, basically, it was like it might as well have been the KGB. It was, it was really it was really tough. <laughs> well, that is odd. That's a yeah. talk about a tough crowd, you know. Yeah, it, there was, and they were like, 
Yeah. It's almost like <laughs> we defy you to have a good time. So. Yeah, tab well, good. And you guys went and broke that whole thing down. It was, it was a big deal. Was it was like two years later the wall came down. Yeah. But right, it seemed, right. it, seemed yeah. Like, sorry, it seemed like a prelude to that sense of freedom. And when we were there, I think term, that had something to do with it. Well, it, there's a term yeah. called glasnov, which means, I think, asking questions or asking for, for freedom. Right. And Billy was like, Way into you saw how uh, how we acted without the clown. Alex. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was real. I mean, he loved that guy. Right. And uh, we brought song. We brought we drew, brought a lot of happiness. And yeah. uh, I'm very proud to. I'm, I'm actually the only uh, remaining me band member. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. Of that of that era. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm the only. If you look at that, if you look at the video, I'm the only guy left in the band. No kidding. Yep. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, I uh, the drummer's gone too. Liberty. Yeah. 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 What the, well, now, in the song Allentown, iconic song, where you, I didn't realize you did this like I watched that documentary. Don't say, don't say hit the pipe. I want to go, okay, let's, let's, let's take it well, easy. Well, there's a big piece of, we'll call it steel, because that, no, that, they're that, yeah. talking about the steel mills, right, right. and you, you're chopping that song, it's just to hit that it's, thing, man. It's funny, you play all these instruments, and people say, hey, you play the pipe. Well, I mean, you really beat the hell out of it. Well, I did, it was, it was a, well, under the stage, it was like, it was like, uh, like, like ended up like the letter to see at the end of the, yeah, end of the yeah. tour. <laughs> Where did that come from, that idea? Was that something you started well, there? Well, Allentown is kind of... There's, yeah, there's so just sound about of the a steel. Yeah. I've said I'm not going like, to just have some guy put on hit a, hit a, uh, a, a, a synthesizer. I was not going to beat the you crap out of it. You're doing real. Hit a pipe. And I, and I did. And people, and I'd spin it around. I'd like, you know, and it, it got to be the part of the show. It was a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you looked... I could tell you looked a little exhausted afterwards, but I, anybody I, would be. I swung a... a Brought a, had the, the sledgehammer every night. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. You, you think about, you don't realize, uh, Billy Joel has written a lot of great saxophone-oriented mm -hmm. tunes, yeah. you know, and you're, and you're right there for that. It must be fun doing that line. It's great yeah. yeah, how does it work? I mean, you take, do you take the song and just basically riff and, you know, take a scale and, and create the solo? There's certain things. Or does things, he have an idea? Well, there, look, there are certain, certain songs that, that came before I was in the band, and there are certain ideas. Total ident solos and, and parts that I that I respect completely. Mm -hmm. As far as solos, you go out there and you play. So New York State of Mind, you go out there and you riff. When the end of uh, every every time you get a chance to play, you play. That's but, um, great. That but one, Billy, yeah. Billy's great. Billy like gives you completely free reign to have a good time. Wow. So you should get to improvise a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, well, we got to take a break. Um, we're gonna come back and talk more with uh, the great Mark Rivera from Billy Joel's band and. Uh, other things back after this. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.